Alright, this is Blood on Sweden back again with another SRCDS tutorial. I just wanted to add this fast tutorial to my MetaMod Source Mod playlist where we will go through how to add maps, how to add sounds, and how to change the MOTD. Now, these are all very simple things, but you might just not know about them if you are a rookie to the whole server layout so to speak so if we go ahead and open up our server folders here go inside SRCDS orange box C strike the first thing we can take a look at is right down here the MOTD if you open that up you will see a fully customizable message of the day in HTML coding so you can really make this uh, how wonderful or how ugly you might want. If we go down here I could just type in welcome to the server. If you do not know what a MOTD is, it's the pop-up window you get uh, as soon as you log into a server. Uh, if it haven't been customized at all, it would most likely say something like uh, let's see, you are playing Counter-Strike Source, visit the official CS website, etc, etc. So yeah, fully customizable with HTML so you can make it look pretty damn good. So that's how easy it is to change your MOTD. You can, you know, fill it with whatever you like. Yeah, I used to have server rules and things like that in the MOTD. Right, next thing, we got maps right here, the maps folder containing all the maps you have on the server. Now, if you haven't changed anything, you should have all the standard boring maps. But let's say you wanted to install a new one. So I went ahead and downloaded a random map out of GameBanana.com. A great place if you want custom material and I'm going to open up the zip file and I will find three files for some reason um, but anyway BSP that's a a map file nav is the navigation so the bots know how to navigate the map you might also have uh, folders inside those zip files containing maps materials and maybe sound and it's quite self-explanatory. You put the maps folder in the maps folder, the the or the maps uh, files in the maps folder. You put the materials files in the materials folder, and so on. So I could just select those three and place it right inside my maps folder. And there you go, but you have not yet completed the installation. You can go ahead and go inside the maps folder. Scroll down until you find the n map you just installed. Now you want to copy the name of the map. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the name, then go back into C strike and write down here to map list. Now the map list tells the server which maps are available to play. So I need to add the map I installed to the map list so that this server knows that this map is installed and playable. And you want to also open the map cycle. This is how the server cycle through the maps uh, unless you have a end of map voting system uh, which source mod has if you want to use it just check my uh, source mod meta mod playlist and and uh, yeah go through it and you will find how to activate the end of map voting but if you don't have it um, this is how the server cycles through the map so if we started on the dust once the map is completed it will change to Aztec once Aztec is completed it will just cycle through them one by one so just to make sure that everything works correctly I'm going to add the name to the map cycle as well so yeah 
if you wanted to delete a map just go into the maps folder delete all the files that have something to do with that map you can see militia right here has three files I will delete that completely I don't want that on my server but I also want to delete it from the map list uh, which I there it is and save it and I also want to delete it from the map cycle there you go that's how easy it is to fully install or fully delete a map from the server to add sounds you just go down to the sound folder create a folder called admin underscore plugin and place all your sound files inside this folder now if you want to be able to play them as an admin just head over to my channel uh, check the source mod add-ons plugins playlist and click on the video called admin sounds that will allow you as an admin to play the sounds you place in this folder Alright, so that's how easy it is. I hope this helps and I will see you the next time.